Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining. My name is Amelia Semperbon, and I'm a product engineer and community specialist on the Story Maps team here at Esri. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Esri's ArcGIS Story Maps Builder. So, what exactly is a story? Stories help you combine interactive maps, multimedia, and text to help you tell your stories about the world. ArcGIS Story Maps can also be optimized for a variety of screen sizes, from desktops all the way to smartphones. To date, our storytellers have created over 1.5 million stories. These storytellers range anywhere from students and instructors to researchers, analysts, constituents, and journalists. Our users are governments, nonprofit organizations, and individuals and each of them use ArcGIS story maps to creatively showcase their amazing work. Use stories to report on data, promote your cause, connect with communities, present and consolidate information, and much more. Make your work come alive with ArcGIS story maps. Now, I'll turn it over to my colleague, Michelle, so that you can learn more about the different ways that communities tell their stories with ArcGIS Story Maps. Thanks, Amelia. My name is Michelle Thomas, the community manager for Esri Story Maps team. Amelia shared innovative ways that storytellers, from students to researchers to large organizations, are communicating scientific ideas through ArcGIS Story Maps. But let's dig a little deeper. Why do these stories work? And why should you use digital storytelling to communicate proposals? Uh, research, and your outcomes. On our short list, digital storytelling can do three things. One, add clarity and break down complex information. Two, help you build an emotional connection with your audience. And three, directly engage with your audience. Let's see those ideas in action. First, to clarity. Do you know the most Googled question about the ocean? It's how deep is the ocean? The answer, a simple matter of kilometers or feet. But comprehending the depth, that's a whole different story. And in the how deep is challenge or deep, John Nelson uses clear language, engaging visuals, and familiar references to make the unknown relatable. Like a stroll through Manhattan to the deep. and a Grand Canyon view. Make that many of them. The Deep, an RGIS Story Maps collection, takes us on a more personal journey with the Caledon Ocean Explorers and Kathy Sullivan, the first woman to explore both space and the ocean. Each story in the collection provides a personal behind the scenes view from Kathy, to the crew, to the technology that powers it all. By the fourth story, you're invested in the future of ocean exploration. And finally, the Nurdle Tracker Sri Lanka story makes use of a call to action in a really powerful way. When disaster struck, Asha DeVos, a National Geographic explorer and founder of Oceanswell, asked the community to submit photos of the Nurdles and their location through a quick survey. The Nurdle Tracker story offers a link to the survey in multiple languages and then displays the results in a data-driven map tour for the entire community. The submissions supported local cleanup efforts and the community. That's scientific storytelling, from clarity to connection to powerful action. Are you ready to get started on your own story? Dive into the builder with our Story Maps product manager, Jennifer Bell. Thanks, Michelle. I'm going to show you how to transform your scientific stories from good ones to amazing ones with just a few simple tricks. 
Let's start off with one common issue. Sometimes our text can get a little long, which can decrease our reader's engagement. To address this, we can employ a few simple tricks. Here, I'll change this text style to a heading and notice how it automatically appears in the navigation bar. Navigation bar is great for your readers to know where they are and to see the overall outline of your story. Here, let's break up the text with an image gallery. I can batch upload my images. And here I'll select some images of flooding around the world and easily rearrange them. So let's create that gallery. There are many different gallery styles that you can choose from. There's also different sizes. Here we have small, we can set it to medium and to large. Now don't forget to add attribution and alternative text to your images, which is great for accessibility. Here we can change the style of important information and share your maps. So what I recommend with your maps is to go into edit, the edit settings and make sure this legend is automatically docked so that your readers can immediately know what your map is showing. Here, let's turn this paragraph block into a quote block just to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, you can have your standalone maps, which are beautiful. Here we see sea level rise of three feet. But if you're comparing before and after, I highly recommend the swipe block. You can compare before and after with two different maps or two different images. And it just makes your story a lot more interactive. Here's what we call map choreography. As you're scrolling through, the, the layers automatically appear for your readers. And they reveal one by one just to help your readers understand. Uh, here we've got the legend in the text to add greater uh, reader interaction and engagement, I highly recommend adding these map actions that zoom people to different parts of your map. Now let's jump over to the resources section. At the end of your story, you've got lots of resources to share, maybe some citations. Um, the links here are great, buttons even better, but what we recommend are use, is using the embed block. So here you can simply paste in a URL. It comes in as an interactive embed, but if you're in a resources section, let's turn on this card option. Here we have these beautiful, elegant cards that the readers can click on to learn more. So if you want to share your stories, your apps, your URLs, files, things like that that are related, you can share them in a collection. And we've added some new options. You can change the theme of the collection, um, whether it's your organization's theme or out of the box themes change the layout style. Here we've got the magazine layout and the journal layout. And then my personal favorite is the navigation styles. So there's compact, bulleted, and what we see here is the tabbed navigation. And the readers can easily uh, click through the different tabs to, to view the different stories in your collection. All right, so if you want to learn how to be a better storyteller, how to get started, I highly recommend the resources page in ArcGIS Story Maps website. Here we've got tips of great storytelling, how to plan and outline your story from beginning all the way to ending the story by sharing it out, whether through social media or embedding it in your website. The many story examples we share today show how your stories can provide greater context and understanding to your hard work and analysis. We can't wait to read the stories that you create next. Happy storytelling.